think I might be on to something here. <laughs> I made this last night. Can you see it? And I love it, and I think you're gonna love it. And so I'm gonna just tutorial it so everybody can do it. I'm also going to, because it's quite, some of the rings are teeny weeny 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 woo. So I'm gonna do some, um, you playing the drums with your tail. <laughs> you playing a little song. <laughs> yes, a little song, a little song. Yeah, so some of these rings are actually quite small. Um, so I'm gonna make some kits. <laughs> Um, so you can see how you get on with them and then obviously you can go and buy them from lovely Tom. Um, oh, shut up dog, let's get on with it. Here's a better look. <laughs> and I've done a pink one and I've done a bluey. Is that blue? Yeah, blue. I say is that blue because some of them are like green underneath. Oh yeah, that's greeny look, see? Greeny. So, I'm going to... Do some kits and I'm going to show you the uh, offer the five different colours that I've got. So we've got, that's the iridescent berry. That's the champagne. That one is the sage green shimmer. That one's the aqua shimmer. And then that one's the rainbow. So these are 14 millimetre Rivoli's. You're going to need one of those. And you're also going to need five different ring sizes, which is why I'm going to do some kits. Obviously, I get all mine from Tom. If you don't want to buy them all, although I think you probably end up buying them all, um, these are what I currently use for this one. So we've got 19 SWG 6 millimeters, and we've got 19 SWG 5.7 millimeters, and 19 SWG 5.15 millimeters. Then for the little teeny ones, oh, teeny teenies, we've got 28 WG 2.7 millimeters. And 20 WG 2.4 millimeters. So that's all the rings we're going to use to make these lushnesses. Okay, so to start, we first of all want to make a cage. We want to capture our stone. To do that, we're using the, these two sizes. That's wrong. Hang on. Wait <laughs> there. Mama's done a boo boo. Chuck them in there. Right. Silly, silly me. So to make our cage, we're going to use the two largest sizes, 6 millimetres and 5.7 millimetres. We want four of the largest ones, and they are going, let me point you thing. They are the ones that go on the side of the cage, and then the ones that grab the stone, the slightly smaller size, which is the 5.7 millimetre. So now what we want to do is we want to make a string, or a chain rather, of these close up all the small ones hang on right so i've closed up all the smaller ones and i've opened up all the larger ones we want to do a two one chain and the two is the smaller ones right so i'll chuck four on there to start because then we'll just Split them and move the two onto there. So you're doing a the one larger one and then the two are the smaller one. Should chuck two more on there. Yep. Oops. I'll chuck those two on there. Ah! When you get to the last one, leave one off. You'll see why. 
That one goes in later to close up around the gem. We want to leave one off so we've got a loose frame and then we put the last one in. It will make sense. Right, so if you see what we've got, we've got two, one, two, one, two, one going up. Then where there should be two there, we've only got the one. And then we're going to join it up. So make sure they're all lying in the correct thing so they're not twisted. Fold it up Ooh, and join it into a circle. Like that. And believe it or not, that ugly pile of shite is our frame. Open up this single small one that's left over. We're going to use that then to grab the stone. What colour should we make, guys? Let's do a rainbow. Well, should we do a rainbow? Yeah, let's do a rainbow one. Okay, so to put the stone in, where we've got the two, one is going to go either side of the stone, look. Oops. So it's going to... It's going to do that, essentially. One's going to go either side, yeah, to grab hold of it. So you just need to do a bit of fiddling around now. One, two. It's not easy the first time you do it. There we are. Clip him round. Look, and he'll... So that's where you've got. Where we've put the two in, they're grabbing the stone now. And we've got that one gap, which is where we left this one out. And then we'll use that to close him up. See? Clever, isn't it? <laughs> Put him in there, look. And close him up. There we are. And we've grabbed our stone. Nice and easy. Now, what I do at this point... Is see how they sort of, they do that. So this one sticks out over the top of that one, whereas, you know, they're not the same in each corner. What I want is I want the back one to be poking through the front one on all of them. So that's the same, that's the same. That one's the wrong way around. So what I normally do is just do that and do that. So they're all the same. And that's probably the... Oh, well, you could do so much, you know, to do that. You can do so many things. I'm going to go put the kettle on. Right, so. Now we've got that far. What we want to do is, this is where the 5.15s come in. We we're going to do these bits on the, are they them bits? Yeah, <laughs> them bits on the side. I'm going to form four of them. One, two, three, four. Four of those little baddies. Right. Let's open those four up. Oh, check camera's recording. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Trust me, I have done 20 minutes of recording before now and then gone, oh, shit. It's not good. It's not good at all. Okay, so we've got our four of them. What we want to do now, making sure, as I said, the uh, he's pointing, he's sitting over that one's coming sort of through. What I want with this ring is to go through that one. On the wrong side. <laughs> On the back, sorry. Pick that one up from the front. And go round and pick that one up to the side of it, look. Got that? Wicked. And then close them up. Yeah, that gives us that ring on the side there. And we want to do the same on the other side of that. So follow what you've done. From the back because <laughs> I'm obviously I'm gonna have to go from this way now so go under that one and then round and through there so it's doing the same as that one in a mirror yeah and 
Make sure your closures are neat because they really show up on these. There we are. So that gives you that side piece. I'm going to do the same on the other side now. So from the back, when you're putting the one in, round, there like that, look. Okay, and then this time on the front, through the back. No, hang on. Let me get my head around this now. I've only just designed this. Yeah, sorry, round there and through it there. I just designed this yesterday and I got so excited. So I'm like showing you this and I'm relearning it now as I'm going. There you go. So you've got those two essentially on the back there, going through that one, round and through that ring that's capturing the stone and the same on the other side. So now you've got that. That's beautiful in itself actually. Okay, so now we've got that. Now we wanna do the points up here. So to start off, there's our two smaller ones now. We're done with the 19 SWG. We're on to the 20 AWG. Take some of your little wee ones. They're so wee. Okay. These are the 2.40 millimeters. I'm going to need my glasses for these bad boys. Okay, I'm gonna check that my, yeah, right. I'll try and stay out the way of the camera. So with your 2.40 millimeters, put three of those Move this because I just know what's gonna happen. My glasses are gonna cause all hell. Right, that's two. Oh, bit of a shake there. <laughs> Three. Right. You can do them on the other side as well if you like, or you can do one side at a time. Let's do, let's put them in on both. Oh, I knew that was going to drop that. That's better. Three. Right, so we've got three of those on each side. Let's shut the spare ones away. Now you want your 2.70s, you're slightly larger. We want two of those in each area that we've worked in. So, and one's gonna sit on the front and one is gonna sit on the other side. So that's the one on the front. And then that's the one on the back. Like that. See, they'll sort of sit like that, look. Yeah, we want them to do the same now. On the other side. One. 
I'm going to stop this and play it back in a minute and make sure that my glasses aren't stealing all the focus. Two. Right, so we've got that now. Okay. Now we're going to want some more of these. One. Oh, they're so little. To open up four for now. I think. Well, you can do whatever you want. Okay. So we now want to attach these eventually over to here, right? So we want to put two in there. And the same on the other side. One. Two. I'll just show you, make sure we know where we're going in a minute because I've sort of steamed ahead a bit there. So we've done those two bits there, then on the side, we've put two rings there and two rings there. What I'll do is I'll join it up now on the one side to show you. So. No, I won't. I'm going to put these all the way around. Just keep it, keeping it simple. Do the same thing over and over. So two in there. And two in there. So basically adding these two rings all the way around on these side pieces. So we should have two there, two there, two there, and yes, two there, fab. Right, so just to make absolutely sure we've all got the same thing, you've got two, 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 yeah? And then you've also got your top pieces in place there. What we're gonna do now is to stay in with the 2.7 millimeters. We're gonna put in these pieces here, making sure we grab the back one as well because there's two rings in those positions. Put two rings into those. That's one. And that's two. Okay. And then another two in the other one. There. One. Okay, so all that's left now is to join, so those two there are going to separate, look, and then we're going to join to the side there to make our diamond shape. I may need to make a point there. So take another one, yeah. Oops. Go through there and then drop that so those you've got the loose two loose ones over there. 
grab them. Ooh. <laughs> and drop them again. Ah! Show you again. Through there. Yeah. Make sure they dangle down. And grab them. There you go. And that's your one side of your point already done. So take another one and repeat. So go through the other one that's on there. Make sure those are dangling down so you can grab them. Fiddly. It will stretch, you see, because there's a bit of give there. So you just need to not be too faint-hearted about it. Just go for it. There we are, look. And there's your point. We just want two more of these littlies. And we are done, everybody. There you go. So this side now, same again. Make sure you separate those and grab that one. Dangle those down there. It's easier on this side because there's no tension at the minute. Grab those two. Like that. And then we just want to finish him off with one more. So grab the other one, you want to grab those two, make sure you really give that a pull to get it in, we don't want it to be too loose, see, because otherwise it's going to flap a bit, you don't want that, just being careful with this last one, da da da, and that's it. Isn't that fab? If I do say so myself, I'm really flippin' chuffed with that. Um, yeah, so that is it, really. I will put in the description a link to where I will give you the um, choice of colours. You can buy some kits to make your own. And then obviously, if you ever feel like you want to go and buy your own rings, you've got all the ring sizes there. That's it, really. I'm so pleased. I'm going to wear mine. I'm going out for lunch now. Ladies do lunch. Yes. So I shall probably wear my blue one, which I've put somewhere, probably in the fridge, wherever the other thing went. So I hope you enjoy. Goodbye, people.